So, here we have the Gordini. It is cold and damp outside. And one of the things you need to do when you've got a lot of cars is you need to check your coolant. I have tried this earlier this year on, on the car, but it has this rather weird setup and I was not able to get enough because I can't reach it. Um, and I tried to, I thought, okay, it must be missing. So I gave it some more and that only resulted in that uh, it kept spilling water. So I think it was enough. Um, and I had a game plan. I thought, what if I do like this? And put a finger here. And nothing happens. This hose here is rock hard. I think I got at least two that came with the car. Probably one is wrong size and one is correct, but it didn't get changed. It has a lot of tape down here. Hmm. I don't know what a smart guy would do. Don't got anybody to ask. But, uh, hmm. What to do? What to do? If I pull that hose, I will lose all the water in between. Let me rethink. So, after some severe thinking, I actually met a larger, I don't know what it's called, it's in Danish it's called a chiffon pump. Really low tech, what works. I actually met a bigger one inside and remember that I had this. Clearly I have, I have been using it for something with oil or something last time, but that's not so important. What's important is that we need to know if it has got coolant or water. And then I can live with a residues of something else. So let's see if this works. It's definitely long enough. Mm -hmm. And we would like to see some fluid here. Maybe I try like this. It is trying. Sounds like my bank account. Bank account. Empty. Hmm. I just tested it before, so some of the color could be from my chest. I tested in a yeah, a five liter I had standing around just to see if it still worked. Let's see. If that's from the car, it should be fine. But I would like to get some more. This is not working.
And yes, I could try starting the car because if it goes, when it gets warm, the water should rise and I can reach it. Mm, but what you can see is that besides the fact that it's really damp today, there's a, my M set with the Lasten Beiwagen sidecar is I'm actually standing right on top of it, so it's in the way. But, uh, I'm pretty sure this is not enough for testing, but let's give it a go. Great. No movement at all. Probably because there's too little. Right now, it says clearly water. You can't see a thing, can you? Not really. It's not. The arrow should be here, but it needs to be up here to work. So we haven't got enough. I only got about here. So time to rethink once again. Can I call Renault? and ask them what were you thinking back in late 50s early 60s bah, i think it's too late i know what you're thinking why don't i just get the job done drain it fill it with fresh fresh fluid that i know can last the winter but reality is time is an issue and uh, this is not the only car waiting so and uh, it's always easy to say just do the right thing yeah but well that's life uh, come on It's amazing that would turn over at that speed. Now I just need to hit the throttle at the right time. This happens every time. I do think it's the accelerator pump that's teasing me, but uh, I don't know for sure. Oh, 
Don't be long there. Found a leak. This is my lucky day. Right there. Hmm. Ah, not so great. So, is that moisture or water? I'm guessing it could be moisture because of the time it has been standing. I think I'm lucky now. Well, I thought wrong. So close. And for further references, references, I'm going to disconnect the battery after today. Remember, it's an extremely damp day, so and it hasn't been started for months, so and I'm getting a lot of exhaust here. Hmm. Hmm. Good thing that exhaust doesn't get into videos, otherwise you wouldn't make it another day, but see, I think it was simply moisture trapped in the exhaust because now it has stopped. Just checking for heat. I haven't got any on the top post here. Only here. But that's okay, that's for the heater. But, uh, that could just mean that the thermostat hasn't opened. So if I haven't got any heat here, I certainly don't have water here. So. Let's wait a while. Maybe we should check the gauge. Yeah. Yeah. 
earth is, I don't know if I say it correctly, is water. It's really low yet still. I'm gonna let it run for a while and get back. Well, if I had a working GoPro, I could have made a extremely great stupid live video of me using the siphon pump once again. Here it is. It's, it was nice and hot. So we got some more into the cup. It's even still hot. So let's try and see what we got. So wish me luck. Please be enough. Well, it's full. Hmm. Come on. I guess you can see the the arrow. Arrow. It's. I have to look at the red one because I'm working with Celsius when I'm in Denmark. Oh, I can let me turn it again. It only says about twelve minus twelve. Oh. Can you see? And that it doesn't usually work when I uh, I don't know if it works, but I usually use it when the fluid is cold. So yeah, we have something. It's about ten, twelve. It's definitely a mixture. It's not clear coolant. It's, it's a mixture between water and coolant because if it was clear coolant it would be like minus 40 but the thing is right now even though it's shitty weather it's, it's a couple of degrees uh, if it gets cold it doesn't get minus 10 in here at least not for some while so I'm going to leave it for now. I know I'm I'm safe for the next couple of days, weeks. And then uh, you see it's it needs to be changed. But this is the hose that needs to be changing. Changed. I really talk shitty today. But um Maybe I should change the hose and at the same time do a complete fluid swap. Yeah, I'm gonna write that in my calendar and hopefully get it done this year. So I think that's it for the Ganini for today. Next car waiting. <laughs>